What is up guys? It is me, your boy K Wisp, back with another YouTube video. I know it's been a while. I know it's been a while. I know the streets have been waiting, but we're back. And I think you well we're back, but we've got something special, right? I think this is special anyway. It's season three. The season three patch notes are out. And I haven't seen them. I haven't seen this is the day after they've dropped. I have not seen anything yet. I've not seen a thing. Well, I've seen a few things. I've heard a few things. I have heard Huarang is busted, and that's exactly what I'm so excited for. I didn't get a chance to see the patch notes. I only heard of certain things, a few range buffs. Um, obviously, I know about Downfall 1-3, the new 13 frame punish. Um, so yeah, that's that's basically all I know. I don't know much. I don't know much, but all I know is okay. We're just gonna we're gonna go straight into this. I really want to click on Huarang. We're gonna look at these notes. We'll talk over them. I'll say, obviously, if you don't know notation, I can tell you what the move is, and we'll go from there. So here we go, Warang. And starting off, during Rage, down 3 plus 4, that's his Rage Drive. Fixing an issue where the move could not be performed while running or sidewalking. Okay, this is actually big for me. <laughs> this, for me, is actually big. Because there have been so many times I've lost rounds, I've lost games, I've lost whatever, because I've gone for Rage Drive. And I've got sidestep four. And sidestep four is a lot slower than, it's way slower than my rage drive, so much slower. And I just die for it. So I'm happy for that. I can now do it while side sidewalking or running. Um, so that's 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 a that's a personal buff for myself. Thank you, Bandai Namco. Um, next up, one one three three, change the opponent's behavior on hit. Um, okay. I don't know what I don't know what that means. I mean 1133 is obviously that that high high and the low high which is like a scrub it's a very it's a very scrub killer move um to use mainly used to end rounds um it's not really you really see it at the high level and it's like it's like a super super no like you think i'm going to do this but i'm so good i shouldn't be doing this and you just do it anyway sort of thing um it says that its frames hasn't changed so it's still probably minus on hit um so I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what that means. That's something to change. And here's something I expected. Down forward one is now minus one on block. Quarry did have a zero on block. Down forward one, um, but that was now changed to be minus one on block and also plus six on hit. But obviously, with the new extension, down forward one three, it's it makes sense to do it. If he if he still had his zero on block, down forward one with an extension after it as well. Um, it'd be ridiculous because Huarang's down forward was also plus on block at the wall in certain situations. So if he still had the extension and um, the the downfall one was still zero on block, that would be that would be ridiculous. So I'm I'm alright with that change. That makes sense. It's a slight nerf, but with the mid with the new extension it doesn't mean much. Down at three de decreases distance distance between the character and the opponent when the move is blocked. That makes sense. Um, down back three did have a slight bit of pushback when they when your opponent blocked it, so it just makes it easier for people to punish. It makes more sense, just makes the game fairer. Down back four four change the frame advantage when blocked from minus three to minus one and shorten the recovery time by okay by two frames. So to me that sounds like it's more for combos. I'm um, down back three three. Um, the low high, um, the low swap with down back four is the one that goes to flamingo. Um, that's a, that's an alright change. Uh, making it minus one a block. People at the highest level will normally duck the second hit of the string. So, I don't know what that, you know, I don't know change much. I think it's more for combos because it shortens the recovery time when the move hits by two frames. Um, so, it's going to make it easy to dash in after doing that for a tail spin. So, that's nice. And here we have a change to back one. And I've heard they changed back one. Um, I didn't hear it was buffed or nerfed. I just heard back one was changed. People were saying things. And here we go, change damage from 18 to 15, change frame advantage when blocked from minus 13 to minus 14, change frame advantage upon hit to 0 to minus 1, and change the opponent's behavior when the move lands as a counter hit. Um, so it looks like, okay, from this, it looks like they've nerfed back one, which makes sense. It's an unfair move. It's a scrubby move. Um, Nerfing back one literally only hurts the bad Huarang players, um, like myself back in the day. Um, so I can see that it's minus 14 now, so launch punishable for some characters. Um, no longer zero on hit, it's now minus one, so there's lots more. There's way more risk associated to throwing out back one now. And change the opponent's baby when the move lands is counter hit. That could mean one of two things. That could mean it's now a counter hit launcher, which I think would be ridiculous. 
or it they've taken away its counter hit knockdown. And I think it's the latter. It looks like they've nerfed back one across the board and I feel like they're going to take away its counter hit knockdown. I feel like that's what they're going to do. Um, if they make it a counter hit launcher, that's just unfair. I mean, it makes sense with all the way they've nerfed it in other ways. It's damage, it's frames. But I don't think you make that a counter hit launcher because the move is kind of unfair. <laughs> it is 15 frames. It crushes everything in a It's really good at taking out linear moves. So who knows? At back three, increase the move's reach. Sorry, what? They have increased the move's reach of back three. <laughs> they have what? They have what now? No. Is this why people were saying Warrior Bot has been buffed so much? Nah, oh, I'm sorry. My eyes go wide on that one. My eyes go wide on that one. They've increased the reach on back three. Are you dumb? Why would you do that? Warren didn't... Okay, no, okay. What I hope this means, what I hope this means is Warren will be able to launch Asuka's back three now. I hope it means he can launch Asuka's back three, Sav down forward two, and Heihachi's forward forward two. That's what I hope that means. That's what I hope... I mean, as a whiff punisher, I mean, come on. Back three's already a really good whiff punisher. Really good whiff punisher. That is insane for a buff. I, I need to see that one for myself. I need to see how 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 much it's reaching because there's only so long Waring's legs can go. So I need to see how much that one reaches because that's interested me a lot. A lot. Oof, moving on. Uh, back four, change the frame advantage on blocks from minus nine to minus seven. And increase the distance between the character and the opponent when the move is blocked. That's big. That's big. To me, that's big. Because back four is Warang's. It's his 13 frame high counter hit launcher. And making that safer on block also with more pushback gives Warang the ability to throw that out more. To catch people coming in. Just, he can play a bit like Steve now <laughs> with back one. He has his back four. I mean, obviously, it's not the same as back one, right? But it's... It can all if depending on how the pushback is, it can be a safe way to get into right foot forward, and also, um, also if they're pushing buttons, get them a counter hit. So it's very good for counter hit fishing. Also, if I want to get into right foot forward really quick, if the pushback's big enough, I'm in right foot forward now. I can skyrocket. I can down forward four. I can backlash now. So I want to see how that works out. And um, how's it going, Zoltania? Um. Our back 3-4, increase the distance between the character and the opponent when the move is blocked. Um, okay. The only the only change I wanted to see to up back 3 was up back 3-3 three, three being 15 frames. Because I just think Quarry needs a bit more range on a 15 frame Punisher. Um, because his down 4-2 just doesn't work. And also for while standing to launch moves that are while to launch moves that are minus 15 um, from crouch, up back 3-3. Three, three. He can't launch stuff like um, Josie's full crouch low and stuff like that. So that's why I think up back 3-3 three, three make it 15 frames. Um, make an up back three, three increase the distance in the character the opponent when move is blocked. So maybe they can't punish you for that now. And maybe flappy kicks will be guaranteed if they try and jab. So that's big as well. Moving on. Up three. Change the frame advantage when blocked from plus three to plus five. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? 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 Why would you do that? Increase the distance between the current and the opponent when the move is blocked. Increase the lower range of the attack. Why would you do that? Do you know how good up three is already? Up three is so up three is Huarang's jumping launcher. It's his it's his jumping high launcher. Not up three plus four. The Van Dam kick. It's, it's a jumping um, high kick, and it launches them. For about 70 damage at least my combo is about 70 damage without wall um and you've now made that safe on block to the point you can't so what this means is because why did flamingo after he does up three and with it being plus three if we both jabbed your jab would win no sorry the jabs would trade sorry the jabs would trade 
um, at plus three because he's in flamingo. His flamingo jab takes a bit longer to come out. Jabs with trade. Trade. Now what this means, if I do up three and we both jab, my jab wins. And I'm at what? My, my flamingo jab and block is plus five. What's it on here? Okay, that's... <laughs> okay. Okay, and I'm guessing increasing the low range um, of the attack is good for combos. Which is... Which is funny, to say the least. Just a little bit. Um, I don't know what to... <laughs> okay, up four. Change from when block from zero to plus three. Increase the distance between the current opponent with movers block. So again... Again, that's basically the same as up three without the launch. And now Drabs will tra trade. And I can I can safely do Flappy. At plus three. At plus three. I can do Flappy Kicks. And I will catch a lot of people's movesets. I will catch a lot of characters' movesets with Flappy Kicks. At plus three in right Flamingo. My Flappy Kicks is catching you. You're getting caught. You're, you're going to get caught. I think you. I think if you don't want to get hit by flappy flappy kicks, you'd have to what? Maybe no. You can't do anything. You literally can't do anything. And that gives me the frame advantage. A right flamingo mix up. Oh my goodness, this is this is ridiculous. Okay, let's move on. Up forward two. Change the frame advantage from plus four to plus six. Increase the lower range of attack and reduce strength of pushback and made the move easier to. Why would you buff above up forward two? No one uses that. No one uses up forward. It's the little, it's the jumping punch that Huaring does. No one use. I only use that to spike um, in back turn combos. But you can just do up three plus four. That's why no one. That's why but it's getting buffed. But there's no need to use it. There's no need to use it. There's no point. I mean, plus thick, plus six on hit is really good. Um, but there's better things Warren can do to get plus frames. Is plus two is like plus seven on here. I'm sorry, it's forward two is plus seven on here. That's a lot faster to come out. I mean, it doesn't crush it all, but <laughs> okay. Um, up forward for four. Fixing issue with a second hit would miss the first. That doesn't mean that's not much. Um, forward neutral down forward. That's CD three. Change of frame advantage when blocked from plus three to plus four. <laughs> Do you know what that move is? That's Warring's Wall Bounce. That's Warring's Wall Bounce. And like I said before, with the change to up three, if we both jab, my jab wins. It doesn't trade, my jab will win now. Because before, at plus three, if I did my Wall Bounce and we both jab, we trade. Now that it's plus four, if we both jab, I win, and I have plus frames at the wall, so I can do another mix-up as what? Oh my god, I love season three. So wait, um, I need to okay, let me compute this for a second. So I now have a wall bounce where if I do the wall bounce move, you literally unless you have an evasive move that's gonna beat my jab, you just have to take it. You can duck the jab, maybe, if you know I'm gonna jab. But if you duck, I can just do three, I could just do forward three and wall. Oh my goodness. Okay. Left stance back towards enemy four. Increase the low range of the attack. Change your opponent's behavior while when hit while downed. Okay, that's good. That's his back turn plasma blade. One of his back turn plasma blades. Blades. Um, that's good. Um, I'm guessing it flips while downed now because that's what it changed. That's the same as the regular plasma blade. That's good. Oh, and the punch parry. Change frame range upon success parry from plus twelve to plus thirteen. Do you know what this means? Do you know what this means? This means punch parry into flamingo. This means punch parry into down forward 1-3 flamingo mix-up. Why are you giving Huarang all these buffs? This means punch parry down forward 1-3 flamingo mix-up. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Why why is the what okay, let's keep going. Let's keep going. While in right stance, one one and two one one is gone from minus nine to minus eight and change frame one is from plus two to plus three and increase the distance between character to the opponent when move hits. That's good. That's alright. Um 
That means I can now do 2 on 1 or 1 1 into parry and it will work. <laughs> okay. Into parry into flamingo mix up. Oof, this is. I don't know why Warren's getting all these buffs from Marshano. Um, while in right stance, 2 3. Change it. Yeah, that's the same as the back 4 change. Um, cause it's right stance, it's right stance back three, regular stance back four. So the same move, change from minus, train to minus seven instead and increase distance, which can be just a safe way to get in and out of stance. Jesus Christ. Um, three, four, second hit can now be cancelled with while in right stance to shift into right flamingo. Oh, well, I'm get okay. So if I do three four, because you know three four and right foot forward, um, if you normally people would duck and launch the second hit. Now I can cancel the second hit and go into right flamingo. So if you duck and try and punish flappy kicks, flappy kicks, it's a mix up now. <laughs> it's a mix up now. Um, to be fair, punch parry gives a uh, right flamingo a four four. But yeah, w now I can go into left flamingo. Which is, that means down forward 1 3 into down 3 4. You can't do that with right flamingo. So, that's just all over the shop. Insane. Um, I love it. Um, <laughs> while in right stance, forward 4 improves the moves of Ace of Properties. That's his right flamingo step. So, it's probably going to move the same way left flamingo step does. If you're more evasive to his left rather than his right, that's alright. Um, right, right stance, forward 4 4. That's his right foot forward plasma blade chain frame advantage when blocked from 12 to 13 and increase low range of the attack that's fair that's fair it's a good launch it gives a lot of damage minus 13 i still think is a bit unfair but i'm profiting from it <laughs> um while in right stance forward three increase the range that's a good buff um forward three you see that used a lot in his combo enders after his tail spin, he does that to increasing the range means the pickup can go from further away, which means more damage in combos um, beforehand. If the range is big, the same I'm expecting the range to be as well with um, the back three change. Um, while in right stance, down back three, decrease the distance between the character. That's okay, doesn't mean much. Right stance, back three. Yeah, that's the same thing as the back four change. And oh, they've done something to right foot forward, 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 forward three. Is this because whatever this change is, this because of when I did it to Tishimon. Change damage from 18 to 15. Change the frame range when blocked from 17, from minus 17 to minus 9. And hit from minus 6 to minus 1. Okay. Change the frame range when blocked from minus, from plus 14 to plus 3, so they've nerfed it. They nerfed it. Shorten the recovery time after the move hits by 5 frames. That's right, they nerfed it. Increase the distance between the character and the opponent when the move hits or is blocked. And the second hit can no longer be dodged with a crap. What? Are you joking? Are you joking? The second hit can only be dodged with, dodged with a crouch if the first hit is blocked. Are you joking? Are you joking? Are you joking? Why would you? No, they buffed right foot forward, um, forward, 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 three. Why would you do that? What is that move? That's the move where if you, if it's, it's the mid high in right foot forward, and if you block the second hit, the second high, he gets a guaranteed jab back four. Did they buff that because of me? The only reason I can think of them to buff that move is because of me. <laughs> I'm actually the only one who could think of why they would buff that. Because I'm the only one dumb enough to accidentally do it in tournament against Tishimon. <laughs> you must be joking. Why would you buff that? You can't duck it anymore. You have to just take... Obviously, it's plus 3 instead of plus 14 now. So, the jab thing isn't guaranteed. But you can't duck it anymore. And I get... If that's at the wall, you, I can just throw that out into plus 3. That's just plus 3, plus 3, plus 3. You take a mix-up. I'm in right foot forward. That means down forward 4, which is 13 frames, is guaranteed. You cannot step. You have to take the down forward 4. You have to take the down forward 4. And if you push any button and I down forward 4, count it hit. At the wall, that's a wall splat. All right, who at Bandai Namco is, who, who loves Huarang? I need to know. 
I need to know who it is that's making these changes. Right stance back towards enemy 3, increase the lower range as the plasma blade. Right stance back towards enemy 4, 3, increase the lower range of the attack. That's good. Fix an issue with the second, it could be blocked on the first 6 strap from the side. I've never experienced that. Left me go forward 3, change the frame range from block from plus 3 to plus 4. Oh, why have you done that? Why have you done that? Why have you done that? That's the same thing as my CD3 now. That means when I do forward 3 at the wall, I jab. If we both jab, I win. We don't trade, I win. I win into plus frames at the wall. I can do forward three into forward three now. You might just have to take that. I, I could just keep doing it and jab eventually. Jesus Christ. Who Who is it? I want to know who loves warring. I want to know who it is because I love you. Because I love you. Left Flamingo down four. Increase the side range of the attack. That's the, um, that's the low spinning one. That's the really low. That's the really slow low launcher. Um, that's whatever increase. You can't step it. I guess that's what it means now. Um, that's fine. But <laughs> the rest of this stuff is ridiculous. <laughs> this is ridiculous. This is rid okay. I think I think when it, I I think I'll end the video here. I think I'll end the video here. This is just my reaction. This is my initial reaction. I'll do another video going in depth on what all these changes mean. Um, and how dumb they've made this character because this is ridiculous. <laughs> if people say Huang top 10, I might have to just hold it now. After the, yeah, he is. If all this stuff comes to pass and all the other characters didn't get buffed as ridiculously as this, um, I might have to just hold this and be like, yeah, Huang's really good now. Um, yeah. So we're going to end the video there. Thanks for stopping stuff and bye. Thanks for watching. Um, please remember to like, comment what you think the dumbest buff on this list is. I want to know what you think the dumbest buff in this list is. Because there are a lot of dumb buffs on here. I want to know what people think about it. Um, I want to know your dumbest buff on here. Um, and remember to subscribe. Follow me on Twitch. Link will be in the description. Um, join the join the Discord, the KWIS Discord, And I'll catch you all in the next video. <laughs> where we just talk about Huarang. Because he's, he's beautiful now. <laughs> I'll catch you guys in the next video. Jesus Christ.